Jake here for Extreme Terrain, and today I'm taking a look at the Carvin Exhaust Dump Exit Catback System fitting 2003 and newer 4Runners. Now this exhaust is geared towards 4Runner owners who are looking for a cooler sound and some additional clearance out of their system. This is a great sounding exhaust that gives you all the benefits without being too flashy or compromising your ground clearance. And speaking of sound, we're going to give this one a soft 4 out of 5 on our loudness meter, with 1 being stock, 5 being completely unhinged. So this one is going to make some noise for you but it's also got some great features and excellent build quality, and it comes in at a really good price. Carbon as a company may not have all of the brand recognition as some of the big dogs in the category, but we really like their stuff here because it's good quality, it sounds great, and it's affordable. They make great sounding exhausts that are well made, and there's not a ridiculous price tag associated with them. And this dump exit catback that we have before us today is, of course, no exception. Now this is a full cap back despite looking like there's only a couple pieces up here. So this is going to replace the restrictive muffler and resonator with this canister style muffler right here. And as you heard from the clips at the beginning of the video, this is a very stark difference from your stock system. There's not a huge increase in volume at idle, but when you start to get into it, big difference. Now this has also got some nice baffling in here and as you probably saw too, it's pretty much straight through, but it's not going to be too over the top. Now, Toyota's V6 is not known for being the most sonorous engine out on the market. Frankly, from the factory, they don't sound like much of anything at all. You hear that engine cooling fan more than you do the exhaust. So this system is really gonna open things up for you though. It gives the 4Runner a much deeper, more aggressive tone. You get a little bit of rasp and a couple burbles on the overrun, which I feel gives it a lot more character and stock. And that's not a bad thing. Inside of the cabin, this is gonna give you a pretty big increase in volume versus your stock setup as well. It stands to reason though, more noise outside translates to more noise inside. But this exhaust isn't super drony. Carvin did a good job of keeping that at bay here. Just plan on having to turn up the volume on your stereo if you wanna hear it over the growl of the engine. Part of that increase in interior volume is due to this system setup. That is to say, since this is a turn down or dump exit, this is gonna exit right underneath of the passenger compartment. So that's gonna to add to the sound in the places where you sit. But it also helps out when it comes to off-roading. Now you get a lot of clearance here, much more than you would with your stock system. So this is gonna tuck up well into the frame rails. As you can see, it doesn't really turn down too much. And even the turn down here doesn't go much below the muffler. You still get that cool carbon logo engraved in the edge of it too. But again, not gonna negatively affect your breakover or departure angle. So if you are gonna be out there hitting some trails, this is gonna help make your rig a bit more capable overall, and it's gonna sound better doing it too. Now construction here is also a highlight. It consists of two and a half inch mandrel vent piping up into the muffler, and then you've got that three inch tip here. Now the welds all look pretty nice on the hangers and on the flange, and this is stainless steel piping, so it's gonna have good resistance to rust and corrosion, even if you're out on some wet or muddy trails. Pricing though might just be the best part. Coming in at just about $425, this is one of the most affordable catbacks on the market for the 4Runner. It's gonna give you the material quality and sound like some of the bigger names, but without those types of prices. And whether you like it for the sound, the clearance, or both of those things, it's sure to be a great addition to your build. Installation is gonna get a two out of three on our difficulty meter and should take you around two hours to complete. It's pretty standard for a cap back exhaust. You just don't have to worry about over axle pipes here. Now the clamp that you need for the center is included in the kit and this is a totally bolt on system. As you can see, this is gonna utilize all your factory exhaust hanger locations. So you don't need to make any additional modifications to your truck. It's gonna bolt right on the flange, couple together, go right in the hangers and you're ready to go. Makes it about as easy a process as any exhaust can be. But with that, let's head out to the shop where we'll walk you through that process. Tools required for this install include an impact gun, exhaust hanger removers, an extension, a 14 millimeter swivel socket, and a 15 millimeter socket. What's up guys? Today we're installing an exhaust on our 4Runner, so let's get started. So our first step is to unbolt our tailpipe from our muffler pipe. We have two 14 millimeter bolts on that flange that we need to remove, and then one hanger on our tailpipe to completely remove it. Now this one might be a little bit hard to see, but we're gonna have to go over our track bar and take our 14 millimeter socket to remove our bolts. Ah! 
Next we can come about a foot behind the end of our tailpipe and we have one hanger right up here. It's gonna be a little hard to see, but we'll get our exhaust hanger remover and pop that out of our isolator. Now with our tailpipe free, we can wiggle it out of the way. Next we can start working on our muffler pipe. Now we have two hangers towards the front by our flange that we can pop out first. So we'll grab an exhaust hanger tool. Let's pop those isolators off. And next we can grab the one on the front side of our muffler. And then we can throw that back on to our rod. Next, we can come up to our flange and remove these two 14 millimeter spring bolts. So we'll grab a 14 millimeter socket to pop these out. Now we can come back behind the muffler and remove our two last hangers. Now it's gonna be a good idea to grab a buddy to go back to the flange to hold that because once we remove these two hangers, the whole piece is gonna fall. So we'll grab our exhaust from hanger remover tool, pop these out. And then remove our pipe. And now with our hangers removed, we can remove our muffler pipe. So our first step is to install our front pipe. So we'll raise that up, put our two factory spring bolts back in and get our two rods into our rubber isolators. So now the first thing we're gonna do is get our rods into our isolators. Now our rods are pointed in two different directions. So we're gonna put our frontmost rod in first. And then we'll get it into our back hanger. And then we can thread in our two spring bolts. Now with both of our spring bolts threaded into place, we can take our 14 millimeter socket to tighten these down. Next, we can install our muffler pipe. So we're gonna slide our clamp over the edge and then we can slide our rods into our rubber isolators. And then onto our front pipe. And now we can grab our clamp and slide that into place and then take a 15 millimeter socket to tighten it down. So that'll wrap up this review and install of the Carvin Exhaust Dump Exit Catback Exhaust System for your 2003 and newer 4Runner. Thank you for watching, and for all things 4Runner, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.